Shalom, my beautiful brothers and sisters. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory, exaltation to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to our sincere brothers, pushing this truth throughout the four corners of the earth, and Shalom <clears throat> to our sincere Akiam and sincere Akwath. Most of all, fearing Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. As you could see on screen here. That is a beautiful, beautiful picture. And I'll tell you how I got this picture. A friend of mine, he's of the world. He is now living in Barbados. And um, on my way to camp today, he sent me this picture. You know, he's been living here about, well, two years now, well, nearly, nearly two years. I've known him for about at least 35 to 40 years, yeah? Yeah, I remember we used to go out together, clubbing, doing a little thing, bits and pieces, yeah? But when I came to this truth, I used to tell him, and I tell you what, every time I mention anything to do with the scriptures, his countenance would change. I remember we had a conversation, can't remember, a few years ago, and he got so angry with me, um, we got into a slight argument, and that was it, he hung up the phone, and we hadn't spoken for about a year and a half, two years, right? And for some reason, I don't know why we came back together, you know, if he contacted me or contacted him, I don't know, I can't remember. Anyway, he decided to say um, he's going to live, going to move to Barbados, right? So anyway, he left, and then maybe... A year down the line, he sent me a text saying, how was, how was I doing? And blah, blah, blah. And I said, oh, it's, a, it's surprising to hear from you. You know, how are you doing? And rare, rare, rare. But anyway, I know that <laughs> I didn't want to get into an argument anymore with him. So I said, how is things going? Oh, it's beautiful. This and that. Oh, this is a beautiful world. And, you know, and this is recent, right? But does he want to know? Does he want to know? That's why I'm going to name this, this video When Calamity Hits. When Calamity Hits. Yeah, so back to this picture now, right? Um, yeah, look at that. So apparently he's on the beach today and he sent me this picture. And I'll be honest, it's a beautiful picture. Look at the most size creation, yeah? All right? Look how, that's a sunset. Look how beautiful it is. I'll show another one now. Yeah? Look how beautiful that is. All right? And I know he's showing off. Because he's thinking, oh, look at me in this cold weather. But I don't care about that. It's not about the the sand and the sea and, and the sun about the warm weather. It's about getting ourselves right. He just doesn't think that this place is going down and I tell him it's going down. I tell him about the new rulership to come, right? But he doesn't want to know. He thinks he's in paradise now. See, look, 
He thinks he's in paradise. And it does look beautiful. I could picture him right now taking a picture and saying he's going to send it to me. I could just picture him doing a thing like that. Yeah? But you know what? Through the spirit of Yahweh Bar Sham Shai, we hope and pray that we are chosen. Because that is only for a pointed time. That's only for a time. He won't be doing that forever, sitting in front of the on the beach. Yeah? Like I said, I've been there, I've done that when I was living in the Caribbean. But to be honest, I've never seen a sunset like that before. And that's so beautiful. Yeah? See a larger thing here? So can you imagine? Look how sweet that is. So I just want you to see it, brothers and sisters, the beauty of our Lord's creation. So can you imagine being in a kingdom it's going to look a thousand times better than that because remember, we're going to be seeing different colors. Yeah? Our eyes will be changed. Right? We will, our focus will be more intense. Yes? The colors will be more intense. The real paradise. Right? Another one again here. See? But it's so funny. Why is that why is he sent me that picture? This is what's going on at the same time. In South Brazil. Santa, what is it? Santa Catarina. An right? insane storm. Right now, look at this now. So, look at the difference from that to that now. Look at this picture compared to this one now. That's a storm. You see the, you see the, you see the contrast. And I show you another shot now. Now, look at that now. Is that beautiful? That's a storm. The clouds. It looks like even a chariot. It looks like a chariot. All right. And that was a storm brewing today, today. South Brazil. So like I says before, when calamity hits, they not even going to know what hit them. You've been warned. Brothers from our apostles, our elders and brothers on the highways and the byways, Week in and week out are trying to bring, trying to wake up the people. And they still do not want to listen. In the middle of what's going on now, right throughout the four corners of the earth. Listen, it's so throughout the four corners of the earth. There's this pandemic, go pandemic going on. They're about to push the vaccine throughout the four corners of the earth. Guaranteed, according to prophecy, they're going to push the mark of the beast, the RFID chip. Yes? And you're going to be sitting there sending me pictures. Yes? Like this? That is your paradise. So let me bring up the first scripture. I just didn't want, I'm not going to make this long, right? I'm not going to make this long. And the first one I want to bring out is in Isaiah 29, verse 5 to 6. Moreover, the multitude of thy strangers shall be like small dust. And the multitude of the terrible ones shall be as chaff that passeth away. Yea, it shall be at an instant, suddenly. Right? You remember Billy Ocean? Suddenly, 
Life has a new meaning to me. You know I can't sing, you know. But that is a serious song. Suddenly. You check out that song by Billy Ocean. Suddenly. Life has a new meaning to me. Verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord Yahweh, our power of host, with thunder and with earthquakes and great noise, with storm, right, with storm. See, look, with storm, right, that is in Brazil. See, storm, and look at that, that's the one with the chariot. It looks, that's in the clouds. Look at the formation of the cloud. Look carefully. Thou shalt be visited of the of the Lord our power of host with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of divine fire. Right? So let me go to another quick one here. In Luke 21. This is no joke, you know. You see, I brought up that song there. It's not a joke. It might seem like it's a joke, but it is true. Suddenly. Because it's going to happen suddenly. Right? Suddenly, life has a new meaning. And that's what we're living in now. We are living in hope, right? That is our new meaning. So it's going to be suddenly for destruction for people that don't want to listen, right? And it's going to be suddenly for hope because we know what we're experiencing now. We know what we are going through. So we have hope in, in our salvation, right? See the clouds there? We're looking for salvation through our clouds. The chariots. So what did I say again? Luke 21 verse 27. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. You could just tell when you say something to someone, yeah? And their countenance, you could always tell that they're not, they do not want to go down that road. They do not want to hear what you're going to have to say. Because if you say A to them, they say B. If you say C, they say D. They've always got an answer. And you could just tell when someone is just not going to let go and listen to what you're saying, right? They want to live in, the, in a dream, dream world, paradise. See, look. Don't get me wrong, that is beautiful because that is of the Lord. That is his creation. And if we are chosen, we are just waiting patiently to receive that. Even better. Remember what I said? A thousand times better. And that is, I'm going off by saying a thousand times. It could be a 500,000 times. And I might be still going off with that. It could be one million thousand times. Um, times and still I'm going off with that because nothing right you cannot measure nothing with the Lord our power because you're dealing with the third fourth dimension here when it comes to Yahweh Basham Yashai we've never experienced that before the fourth and fifth dimension and six I don't know I'm putting no number to it. Because we do not what? We do not know what Yahweh Sham Yah Shai has, has laid out for us. We read the scriptures and we have a little understanding, but we cannot visualize it because it's too great to visualize. Imagine something in the fourth dimension. So you're there sitting on the beach sending pictures like this, right? And imagine, because we are trying to, to, to make it right with the Lord, right? We want to see things. We wait on the Lord to see things in the fourth and five, fifth dimension, sixth dimension. That's what we're waiting for. 
and in peace. Because I know he's not at peace. I know he's not at peace. Luke 21, verse 27. 27 to 28. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud. In a cloud. with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads. Lift up your heads. For your redemption draweth nigh. Your redemption draweth nigh. So what would you rather to take the, 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 the pain now, the sufferation, yeah? The chastisement, right? The hardships, the restless nights, yeah? The pain in your body, the physical and the mental pain in your body, the stresses of life, Right? Or do you want this right now? Do you want to do experience this right now and not think about and I imagine that is all temporal, right? He's sitting there on the beach, right? And listen, but I tell you this right now, it's nothing to do with jealousy. Because I know through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahshai, we have hope that if we are chosen, we are chosen. You'll be seeing that forever and ever. So it's all about the waiting patiently. Right? And when these things be begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads. Right? Brakatha Yahaw Basham Yahshai Basham Raka Kodash. I pray for my, my brothers and I pray for my sisters. Let's be patient for this. Let's wait on the Lord. Let's wait on the Lord. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. All right? So, brothers and sisters, you know, it's just something to look forward to. Hope. Hope. Right? There's nothing wrong in sitting on the beach. There's nothing wrong taking in the sun. There's nothing wrong having a little cocktail on the beach. But remember, who comes first? What comes first? What? Who do we serve? What is his name? What is his son's name? Who do we first and foremost serve? What do you put first in front of you? Listen, you've got brothers in this truth. You've got sisters in this truth. That maybe got nice things. But the main thing is just remember how you got it, remember where you are, and rem remember what you're standing for. You're standing for Yahweh. You're standing for Yahweh Shai. So yeah, that's all beautiful. So would you rather that for another 10 years, another 20 years, or would you rather wait patiently and have that for eternity? So back to what I've said, when calamity hits, they don't even know what had hit them. 
Serving the Lord Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai Ba'asham Rakakudash is the most beautiful thing one could ever do. I will say this. Do you know that even though we're in this pain and suffering, yeah, and distress, we are happy. We are happy. It is a nice feeling. It is a nice feeling to serve our power. We love Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. We love him. And it's so beautiful to serve him. So when he sent me that picture, and I said, oh, that's a beautiful picture, and saw who sent it to me, the first thing that came in my mind, brothers and sisters, the first thing that came in my mind, wow, paradise. And you know what came to mind? The kingdom of heaven, straight away. I didn't think about nothing else. Like I didn't, th you know, on the worldly sense, you might say, oh, look at that. Oh, oh yes. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put, put some money aside and start saving. Oh, I need to go to there. I want to sit on that beach. That's the first thing that comes to your mind in, in the carnal sense. But no, what came to my mind in that split, in that, that instant was paradise. The kingdom of heaven. The first that came to my mind was how about Sham Yahushai. Believe you me, brothers and sisters, believe me. Come on, this is real. This is real, right? That same place where he's sitting, right? That is going to be there. But if you don't change, you will not be sitting in that same place. Reaping the, the heavenly treasure. You won't be doing that. But there's so much you can do. You only could say to a person one and two and three times. Four times. I've actually lost friends. I've lost family. Talking about the truth. But you know what? I don't give a shit. I love Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. And brothers and sisters, I know you love Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. And I hope and pray that we're sincere. Sincere. Right? Just look at that. It is beautiful. But you give all glory and praises to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. You know why I say that? Because the Most High gave us eyes. Right now, I am looking at this picture. And who gave me the eyes to see this picture? Right? Do you know the most eye gives you eyes to see, but you can still be blind, although you can see? So imagine the eyes, the most eye has given you eyes to see, and you've woken up. You're not blind, you've woken up. To see the reality of seeing. Right? So forget all that. Right? We want to be in this. And look at that. It's so spiritual. It's the same, it's the same, it's the same um, storm. But a different um, side to it. And look at those, look at the clouds. Look at it very close, closely. Does that look like a beautiful chariot? Man, we listen, right? Baba Kasha, we hope and pray the Most High has mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. I pray for you, brothers and sisters, right? I pray for you. Baba Kasha, pray for me too. We must pray for one another. So let's try. Baba Kasha, keep strong because hard times are coming. The Lord Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushua has got our backs. But remember, we are, it's going to be a struggle. It's going to be a fight. Because even the elect, although we are a hope, we are the hopeful elect, right? The elect 
are still going to struggle through it, but they're going to still find a way. But it's still going to be rough. So, just we need that divine intervention. We need those miracles. Yes, we need those spiritual powers to get us through. Because we need to be in the clouds and greet our brother, our big, big brother, Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. Shalom.